Hey there YouTube, I'm Jean and welcome to Crypto Pigs. Today's PTMG analysis is on one of the most popular coins out there, Omisigo. This is one of the big dogs. Everyone is expecting huge things from this token. Side question, do you guys like watching my more popular or less popular token videos? I would love your feedback. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. I appreciate everything. I love watching every day. My total and daily subscribers go up. Again, thank you so much. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that button right here. Well, let's get started. So as I said earlier, today's PTMG analysis is on Omisigo, but it's a little different than normal. We are going to be adding a new letter to the mix, S, for summary, which I always do, and a new feature, star rating, where I'm going to rate the coin on one to five. So what does PTMGS stand for? The problems they solve, the project idea, the potential for generating revenue, the team, the marketing, the market cap, the short slash long-term goals of the project, the summary, and of course, our new feature, star rating. So what problem are they trying to solve? There's a fundamental coordination problem against payment processors, gateways, and financial institutions. Centralized networks allow for the controlling entity to arbitrarily charge the mechanism, which result in high contraction costs via information cost, due diligence, and contractual enforcement between all parties. So I know that was super confusing. So let me give you an example that they have on their medium. Through our payment business, we recognize in the current financial services world, if you conduct transactions within specific systems, it works fine. Let's say you're looking to transfer money from one person's PayPal account to another person's PayPal account. Again, it works fine. The problem becomes when one person's PayPal account and another person uses Alipay or another platform and they don't match. Furthermore, to conduct these currency or value exchanges, we typically have to go through the traditional banking network SWIFT or credit card networks, both of which are costly and take time to conduct settlements. So they're basically saying the issue is it's too hard to transfer money unless you're within the same platform. That's what they're trying to fix. So Misigo's project idea, they plan to solve the coordination problem with payment processors, gateways, and financial institutions. They want to offer an alternative to online exchanges by connecting existing cryptocurrency wallets to the Omisigo blockchain, where users can exchange their cryptocurrencies quick and easily through an agnostic decentralized exchange. Omisigo e-wallet allows people to send money locally and remittances across borders, basically sending money across borders. Wendell compares Omisigo to having cash, but in a more convenient way. They have control of their money and have the freedom of move moving their money around anywhere they want at the most minimal cost possible. So their potential for generating revenue. The OMG token's main purpose is to validate the proof of state network of Omisigo. And this is how token receivers receive rewards. The transaction fees on the network, including payment, interchange, trading, and clearhouse use are given to non-faulty validators who enforce bonded contract states. So the more transactions on their blockchain, the more rewards go to the token holders. This is super similar to a lot of tokens out there that we have covered so far. So now the team, which is one of the most important aspects of the analysis in my opinion. This team, they're just showing their management part, so it's super tiny. So I'm just going to discuss each of them instead of just the stars or superstars. So first we have John, who's their CEO and founder of Omis and the CEO of Omis Go, and he's been with OMG for almost five years. Next, we have Donnie. He's a COO slash co-founder and has worked at Omis for five years since its inception. Before that, he was an international trading manager for 13 years. Next, we have Wendell Davis, their first superstar. He's the product development lead for the project, and he was part of the original Ethereum founding team. So, of course, he gets a superstar there. Then we have Thomas Greco. He's a special advisor for Omis and is also an advisor for Ethereum. And this is the only information I could find for him. And it was an article that I found online. I couldn't find his LinkedIn. There was like 10 plus pages of dang Thomas Greco. Who would have thought? So he's getting a superstar for his advising role in Ethereum. Obvious there. Then we have Vansa. 
is their managing director, but I could not find really anything special about her. She started when we used to go this year. Now for probably the most impressive part of, of the whole project is their advisory team. First, we have Jason Poon, who gets a superstar for his work with the Lightning Network, then Vitalik. Obvious superstar there. Everyone knows him. Most popular person in cryptocurrency, founder of Ethereum. Dr. Gavin Wood, superstar for being the co-founder of Ethereum. Jay is a superstar for his work with the Cosmo Networks. Vlad gets a superstar for his work with Ethereum. Martin gets a superstar for his work with Ethereum. Julian gets an obvious superstar for being the co-founder of Gollum. Pandia is the founder of LinkTime and advisor to Kyber Network, so I gave her a star for that. And Roger gets his star for his early work with Bitcoin and being the CEO of Bitcoin.com. Couldn't really find anything significant for Professor David Lee, really the only one. Still, this amazing advisory team, probably one of the best. And it's just because you can see they have so much support from Ethereum and it's great to see. Now for their marketing. So their Twitter is super active with news, updates, and announcements. As you can see, they just made an announcement three minutes ago, 27 minutes ago. They're just constantly tweeting or retweeting, which is great to see. And it seems to be a super common theme between all projects. Honestly, it's more of a red flag if we don't see this now. Now with YouTube, they have none. But there are plenty of videos on Omisigo from the community. Their Telegram is fairly active, but it seems to be only people with the community. Facebook seems to print some articles and updates and news, but it doesn't seem to be even close to as active as Twitter. Their Medium, not active as far as I could see. But they have a community that frequently posts articles. Their Reddit, super active with community responding frequently. Now for their competition. I couldn't really find any significant competitors for this company. If you know any, let me know in the comments. I'll pin them if I find they are significant competitors. And when I say significant, I mean people that could actually push them out of the way. I mean, I'm sure there's little companies trying to do the same thing, but Omisigo is already an established company and I feel like they're just so far ahead of everybody else. So now for their market cap, they got $638 million in their market cap. They're currently sitting around $6.49 or 88,000 sats. I personally want to jump in if it hits $5. And if it's going to happen, it's going to happen pre-fork. If it does hit that though, I plan on putting a huge majority of my portfolio in it. I talk about this in my segment video, which I just posted a few days ago and I'll link it above. Their all-time high is $13.05, 231,000 sats on September 8th. They have 98 million circulating supply, 140 million total supply. The volume in the last 24 hours is $19 million, which is actually down a lot from yesterday, which was $32 million. And on September 8th was $145 million. They still got great volume, but not even close to what it was during their all-time high. The exchanges, they're pretty much on every single one. My favorite is Bitrix, Binance, and Poloniex. Now the short slash long-term goals of the project. We got 2017, we got Q4, payment acceptance, the SDK, wallet prototype release for workshop testing and development 2018 we got q1 again payment acceptance the wallet public release then q2 layer 3 decentralized exchange omg proof of stake public blockchain release then q3 and more we got layer 2 decentralized cash in and out and layer 4 scalability network mechanisms basically cash in out touch point interface with the payment gateway they don't have a release date yet then the plasma development and introduction again no release date so the roadmap is fairly vague as you can see above me and it's hard to get any details from it also i'm not sure what the heck this excel style road roadmap is very unprofessional in my opinion i am super disappointed this is actually probably the negative one negative thing i saw but it's not too big in my opinion their goal is a massively scalable cross-chain compatible plasma proof of stake consensus consensus public permissionless blockchain payment and transfer decentralized exchange <laughs> yeah so to summarize omis ago or omg this coin is expected to be huge something triple digits in the future one of the biggest strengths is that this company omis has been around for almost five years so they pretty much already know what they're doing they're just transferring it to the blockchain they have amazing advisors 
definitely some of the best advisors in the business. They also have a great community that creates articles, videos, and they also, along with the community, post on social media sites super frequently. The only negatives I could find is their roadmap, which is super sketchy looking. Looks like anybody could have done that just on Excel. I will personally be throwing a huge amount of money at, o at Misigo if it hits under $5 before the fork. And I feel this is one of the safest coins to get times two post fork. My segment video can give you a better idea of my thought process and I'll link it above. So now for the new feature, yay, <laughs> the star rating. So side note, I wanna give a shout out to Praveen Aluri. I hope I said that right. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I appreciate the activity in this community. I love all your feedback. Please give me any suggestions that you can think of. I look at every comment and consider all of them. Also, I'd love your feedback on this new portion of the video. Let me know if you like this new feature or how you want me to score them. Right now, I'm just gonna go based off my personal opinion, but I was thinking of having a star rating that is more on a concrete criteria. That way it leaves out any biased opinions. With that being said, I'm giving Omisago a five star rating. <laughs> Woo, I wonder who was surprised with that. Meaning this token is one of the top to invest in, especially if they hit the price point of $5, which I mentioned above. This is one of the top long-term altcoins out there. Please let me know what you think of this portion. Any suggestions will help. And remember to research and invest wisely. Well, that's my video for me to go. All your feedback is appreciated and considered. Remember, I'd love to hear your opinion on this new star rating feature. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button right here. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.